Hi, I'm Don Waller. I'm an ecologist at UW-Madison. And I want to ask you, why hunt deer? It's a question that here in Wisconsin can start a big fight. Should we shoot deer? And if we should, should we shoot bucks or does? You'll get different answers to these questions from different people. An insurance analyst will tell you that deer cause more than 40,000 accidents a year here in the state of Wisconsin. Some gardeners will tell you they can't grow vegetables without a fence here in Wisconsin. An animal rights activist will tell you, no, we shouldn't shoot deer. That's unethical. They care deeply about individual deer. But, are, but what about the forest ecosystems that deer and we depend on? If you ask a hunter, should we shoot deer, they'll likely say, of course. Shooting deer is a basic right. Hunters may also tell you they were taught to only shoot bucks. Because shooting does, they will argue, might cut into the ability of the herd to replenish itself in future years. That same hunter that argues against shooting does may also argue that it's appropriate to put out bait when hunting or that feeding deer in winter helps maintain the vitality of not just individual animals but the herd as a whole. It's my job as a scientist to question that conventional wisdom. It's my job as an ecologist to look beyond the fate of individual animals and ask what's happening to Wisconsin's forests. So let me share results from our studies on deer impacts in the North Woods and why these studies led me to take up hunting myself. We know that deer are now many times more abundant than they were before European settlement. So how are deer affecting the regeneration of forest trees, I'll ask, and how are deer affecting overall plant diversity in the ecosystem as a whole? Deer are hungry. They eat a lot, some six to eight pounds of forage a day. By winter, there's a lot less fresh foliage to eat, so they rely on evergreens, but not just any evergreen. They like to eat the twigs and leaves of white cedar, hemlock, and Canada yew. Deer tend to avoid balsam fir and spruce. So we can ask, are deer preferences for cedar, hemlock, and you're changing our forests? Fenced exclosures give even more dramatic evidence of the impacts that deer are having in our forests. But are these effects local or minor or short-lived? Unfortunately, the answer to all these questions is no. Our research and observations by many others indicate that deer affect a wide variety of plants that these impacts across, occur across most of the North Woods and, across, in fact, across the northeastern U.S., and that these impacts last a very long time. By studying the numbers of seedlings and saplings of uh, white cedar and hemlock, we've been able to deduce uh, that we're likely to lose the majestic stands of hemlock and cedar in our future forests in the Wisconsin North Woods. That will eliminate habitats for many rare species and make Wisconsin a poorer place. How are deer affecting understory plants, the, where most of the diversity of our forests is? Here, too, the story is consistent and grim. At some sites, uh, we have as many plants as we had 50 years ago. At other places, wildflowers and diversity is disappearing. Which species disappear tells the same story. It's the pretty wildflowers we're losing. It's the grasses, sedges, and ferns that are increasing, a few exotic plants. So where are we headed? In parts of Pennsylvania, we're headed to what they call fern parks, areas where the canopy itself breaks up, you're losing the trees, you've lost the shrubs and wildflowers, and you're going to a monotonous understory. So I'll leave you with a few questions. Is it smart to keep feeding deer in the wintertime when deer are already overabundant? Won't this just increase their impacts and eventually the number of animals that will starve? Consider again the, the ethics of shooting deer. What matters more, the fate of an individual animal or the fate of our forests and ecosystems? If you're a hunter, I ask you to ponder this. Shouldn't we shoot more does? Thank you very much.